Hey guys, Joseph Arbuckle here with Hydro Club USA. We're going to be talking about freezing today. As the temperatures across the country are getting a lot cooler, people have been sending in emails and phone calls asking me, what can I do to keep my HHO system from freezing? So today we're going to discuss some of the older methods uh, that we've used, as well as going over the best methods we think to use now. If you've got a copy of our book converted, this is the step-by-step -step instruction manual that comes with all of our HHO conversion kits. It's a guide and manual that takes you through the installation. It talks a little bit about the older antifreeze methods we're using. Uh, we used to use an additive, which was methanol. We would add this to our electrolyte mixture, and it would keep the electrolyte from mixing in pretty extreme cold temperatures. What we found um, based on our membership sending in results and testimonials and thank you guys for sending all those in as well as our personal experiences with using methanol as well as a lot of the other types of alcohol is don't use them pretty much plain and simple don't use them they're just going to gunk up and dirty your cells they're gonna increase the deterioration of your cell you're gonna be flushing them at the end of winter it's just not good okay and despite what you hear out there um, they're not gonna they're not gonna be real f efficient okay so your HHO production is gonna fall dramatically your cells are gonna get dirtier the best electrolyte um, antifreeze methods that we have right now is actually your electrolyte that's right so what we're doing is we're finding that over the last year we told folks don't use methanol we're gonna come up with some some better alternatives and what we got back was uh, some information saying we can use KOH to keep our systems from freezing okay so you can increase the concentration of your KOH depending on how cold of temperatures you're expecting and it will keep your water from freezing obviously your amp draw is gonna be increased okay uh, but what you'll see is if you add a PWM device, that's a pulse width modulator. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically a electronical device. It's very easy to hook up, and it takes your amp control, how you control your amps, from your traditional method of you know how you make your mixes to get a certain amp range. It takes it from traditional to it brings it in your cab with the PWM. You can adjust your amps with a turn of a uh, turn of a knob. So you'll need this to control your amp draw when you increase your KOH concentration to keep the system from freezing. So increase your KOH concentration, add a PWM, and I will add a link to our partners over at FuelSaver-MPG. They've got some information, a chart that they've made, thank you guys so much, uh, shows in Fahrenheit and centigrade how much KOH and how cold of temperatures it will keep your system from freezing in. The I'm trying to think. Let's see. I've got some um, I've got some other methods that we've used in the past. If you don't want to, you know, increase the KOH and add a PWM, I've had a lot of folks that will wrap their cells with a multi-purpose fiberglass kind of roll, um, different heater wraps around their cell and their tanks, adding something like a small aquarium heater to their uh, water reservoir. There's a lot of different things you can do to take action to keep your system from freezing. I think the easiest one would be to basically just use your KOH. And here's a great tip as well. We're here in eastern Tennessee, just about you know an hour from the North Carolina border. And last year, we saw temperatures get cold enough to have a nice snow. Okay, We had nice snow on the ground. It was definitely freezing. Uh, I can't remember the exact temperatures, but they were definitely below... Um, you know 32 degrees Fahrenheit the KOH we had in our systems was not a lot and we were most of our systems on our personal vehicles here we were pulling somewhere between 1 amp and maybe 12 at the most for testing and just that small amount of KOH with the temperatures we experience we had no freezing so if you're in a climate where you're gonna have snow but it's not gonna be just this dramatic negative you know climate uh, just the KOH alone, you might even, you might not even have to add a ton of KOH and get a PWM. Here in eastern Tennessee, we're in Greenville. Just the KOH in our tanks we had there kept it from freezing. I'll be back with more tips. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, but those are some methods you can use to keep your systems from freezing this winter.